Eden Lifestyle, transforming lives. In many of your popular supermarkets, corner stores, and even liquor stores, guess what? There's one thing you can find in common, which is a poisonous drug that is called alcohol. Now you got that right. When in the form of a wine, a beer, an alcoholic beverage, guess what? It's very, it's thought to be very poisonous. Now, it is estimated that one in three people right now consumes alcohol. Now, that is about 2.4 billion people all across the world. A recent study thought to be one of the most sophisticated studies that has been released, uh, estimating, you know, analyzing over 200 different countries with millions of people, has showed that about nearly 3 million deaths occur as a result of alcohol consumption. Now, what you didn't know is that the study released that there is no safe level of alcohol consumption and that includes even in moderation. Now if you missed this, the researchers published uh, in the journal of the Lancet basically saying this only safe level of alcohol drinking is none. Now I'm talking about zero cups a day. So basically recognizing this um, they basically they recognize that even moderate use of drinking is something that is very dangerous and something that, that is very poisonous and health damaging. Now, contrary to what is considered normal, what is considered moderate, which is one cup for a male, or in other words, sorry, one cup for a female and two cups for a male or man, then they're saying, hey, you know, the only safe is drinking zero. Now, as they looked at 23 health-related and health-damaging aspects as it relates to alcohol, they recognize that alcohol is linked to those 23 um, different effects. But then with one cup a day of what is considered moderate, there's a 0.5 increased risk of developing those 23 health-related conditions. With two cups a day, there is actually a 7% a increased risk of developing those 23 health conditions. And you know, think about it now, a five cups a day it increases to 37% risk of developing those 23 health related conditions. Now, we're not just talking about your regular alcohol. I mean, any form of alcohol, whether it may be, uh, whether it may be vodka or whether it may be all the way to vinegar or kombucha or however you pronounce it or whatever else that has been served to millions today. And besides from that, as we go more detail and, look, and you look at what are some of those health damaging behaviors. What are some things that alcohol is linked to besides from the obvious addiction that is causing many? At least 13 out of 100 people who drink alcohol becomes addicted. But then at the same time, it's linked to things like impaired thinking and behavior patterns. It's linked to impaired cognitive function. And besides from that, cancer or in other words, sorry, alcohol has been a known carcinogen. You heard that right? It's a cancer causing agent. Now, for a long time, cancer has been known to be linked to several different conditions. Um, cancer conditions, which would include liver, which would include breast cancer, which will include colorectal cancer, but many others. In fact, the World Cancer Research Fund reported uh, in a report in 2007 uh, showing that alcohol was a cause to premenopausal and postmenopausal breast cancer. Now if that wasn't enough, with all the different scientific proof that is around, just all over today, then let us see what the Bible has to say about it. You see in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18, the Lord for inspiration has given us this scripture which tells us, be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the spirit now it's not telling you about you know be filled with the spirit of bounty or the spirit of many other satanic agencies that is in the midst but be filled with the spirit of the holy ghost but some may say well you know it said be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but wait a second if you look at that word excess that word excess if you go back to the original greek it basically means riot or riotous living. Now think about this for a moment. The Bible is saying to not engage in such riotous living or a, a riotous lifestyle. In fact, if you don't believe this in the book of Proverbs chapter 20 verse 1, the Bible says that wine is a mocker, strong drink, or in other words, an alcoholic beverage. It says, as I quote, strong drink is raging 
and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The Bible is telling you today to be not a fool, to be able to cut your life short, to be able to allow so many health damaging effects to come upon your body by consuming alcohol even at a moderate level. In fact, the Bible goes even more details to explain that not even drunkards would enter into the very kingdom of heaven. And God is willing to save your soul today. And we see this in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6. This is what it says. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 10, it tells us, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be ye not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. We reckon, you know, God recognizes that He wants to save you and I. And that if you have been entrapped and ensnared with this extremely toxic and bad habit and poisonous, you know, drug, the alcohol habit, then God is willing to be able to save you even today. And if that is a case where you, you recognize your need, because God wants you to first recognize your need for a change. He wants you to recognize the damage it causes to your body, that you can now glorify God in your body, which are His. And if you recognize this, God is willing to give you His Spirit, like we saw in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18, the power that you may be able to overcome even today. You see, God is willing that none should perish, but that all should come to life everlasting. But the enemy comes so that way he can be able to still kill and to destroy in John chapter 10 verse 10 to take away our life. But God is saying for you today that I want to give you life and I want to give you life more abundant. God wants to give you abundant life. And by this, you know, God is willing to give you the strength that you may be able to overcome in your very lives. And the powerful thing is God always gives us substitutes. Recognizing that fermented or alcoholic wine or beer or alcohol is harmful and toxic. Why not go to the original thing that he created? That pure grape juice. You know, if you think about it for a second, when Jesus was at the wedding of Cana, a lot of people say, well, you know, Jesus served alcoholic wine. But guess what? The Lord of the Bible will never contradict itself. You know, what Jesus served, what you would call that pure grape juice from the vine, non-alcoholic, non-fermented wine, that he may be able to assist those who was at that wedding. So why not join in drinking such wonderful health benefits straight from the vine, grape juice? And for more videos like this, remember, subscribe to our channel by clicking the link below. Eden Lifestyle, transforming lives.